Are you ready to go, boys? Let's do it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our show. My Pantula Aragbi. It's William Tagati. Sekaya, first 15, end of the year tour. I'm Pogo Pogo. Last episode. Jens, you done? Top, top, top togos. Actually, I should have done this. Jens. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm trying to be okay, the, the national anthem. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. huh? Every time we go overseas, they find one dizzy character. One dizzy character. One dizzy character. Do, would you like to come sing next week? Mm, just to be like, <laughs> four lines. You don't need to know the words. Just be mm -hmm. there. Just be, mm -hmm. just be there. Sing it. Uh -huh. And then, you know, there'll be come a game afterwards. You get a free ticket. You know, it's all good. That's good. Jason Willem Toa, it was... Well, I guess you, you said it. Uh, you said it was the game of the weekend. All Blacks against England. No, absolutely. I mean, mm. yo, nah, look, as much as it's hard to give praise to the English, like it's not something I do well. But that was a great game. That was a great game. Um, All Blacks blew a lead. Never, don't see that every day. Um, but England, they made changes in the second half and they went for it. They bomb went squad. for it. Okay. No, they, 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 I, I wouldn't say bomb squad. I would just say they, they tweak things. They found out what didn't work in the first half to go down that big in, in a half and come back and you erase that a whole deficit because I mean, it was like 17 6, I think, to end up at 25 25. They outplayed the All Blacks in the second half. And they basically, All Blacks held on for a draw. England decided to not go for the win. Then, uh, Lungs, would you say, listen, uh, the English were, were good or second half, the, the, the All Blacks just came out relaxed then? I would go with the latter, actually. Uh. That it's 50 50. 50 50. Yeah. The All Blacks, it was in the bag. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, look at that, that try Rico scored uh, with, with the cross kick. And the, and the they pass did that the kick. whole day, man. But when it worked, it was yeah. phenomenal, yeah. right? But yeah. I think to a certain extent, the All Blacks were like, look, it's in the bag. We're going to get on the plane and go home after this. And England just didn't give up on it. Okay. Another question. Now I'm Zola. <laughs> <laughs> right. Over to you, right? Another question. So when you look at that game and and I'm guessing Rassi, Jacques, and we'll speak about uh, the, the coaches at hand, Matt Proudfoot, and with the tactics when it comes to the England Springbok game. We can take a leaf out of their book in terms of, did you see they were shaped to go kick off nine or off 10? Then all of a sudden, the first receiver, they did that the whole day. Jack Knowles, I remember, yes, a game with ooh, Elf of. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He, uh, Ellis Park, yeah, yeah. when everyone was kicking on him. It's the cross kick, they did it the whole day, and it, it, it worked, it worked for them. So do you think we, we could take a leaf out of their book and save I think taxes? A, lo a lot of people could take a leaf out of that, that game plan because it's not just the, the shape to kick and the mm. knock kick, but it's also the when you do that, that long maul and mm. drag the ball yeah, yeah. in, players get greedy and they start Tra tra tracking in a little bit yeah. because that, that Rico try exposed the fact that there wasn't an extra man on the wing. And that first because, yeah, that because first Caleb runs in thing. and Rico runs around and it, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful try, but there's a lot to take out of it and, and the players will, will eventually get there. And that 15 is, Coach, is, is good in the air. So it's yeah. quick one. So, okay, 25 25. What's the score? Yeah. 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 So, after that, you celebrate over that at home. Where is that a win for you? Because you they I swear they probably thought they won the World Cup. Because they won that the last ten at home, right? Yep. Uh, and I think I think the English media they're not stupid as well. They know they don't have the best team in the world. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? So 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 uh, the way they played the All Blacks. Uh, if you see at the national anthem, Otoje was yes. I yeah, thought he was gonna do the sprints right there and there. Uh, when they when they did that when they did the haka. The whole crowd was 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 noisy and stuff. So I, I that says a lot, man. I don't think uh, England are, are confident, but as the English are, man, they they're very. They'll never admit good team. So is the game they needed to um, just before us? Just before us. Just before, the and that's the game we this, needed. We did. needed the Italy game just before them as well. Yeah, well, they did that uh, in the World Cup. Mm. It's the old backs. They thought game of their lives. In yeah, the and then now we're gonna give them a fifth. It's Eddie Jones' last game, though, by the way. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I'm putting a fifth. Why? I'm oh. putting a fifth in me. Does he have a contract for the World Cup? Yeah. Nice well. one. <laughs> okay, that's so, the show. Why, why you, <laughs> no, it's not the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. guys. So for those of us that have got social media, right? Mm. 
So there's a video that's going on in TikTok. Uh, so this old man. So it's an X and Y axis. And what he says, the more you fuck around, the more you find out. Against Italy, the more we messed around with the ball, is the more tries we scored. Is that our thing now going forward? Because all of a sudden now, when we played against um, Ireland, they had to match us up uh, physically, physically and, yeah. and everything for them to beat us. France, the same thing. But then they don't have an extra sixth gear. And we just did. We just put on our sixth gear now against Italy. Yeah. I, I, I did a Peter de Villiers, man. Horses for courses. Uh-huh. Uh, it's, 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 it's one of those things, Guti, that kind of team where you can dominate and give them 50, you have to. So that expensive, what I loved about it, and I said it in that, that small clip, Guti, now we can see that the ball can get to the way. So, so we can play different kind of rugby. Now we can actually play our normal game of kicking and chasing. Now we can actually even pass from the centers and play that expensive kind of rugby. So it's lacking, man. Is this, is this the end? Is, should everybody else be worried? Like, should, what, what do you think? How is Eddie going to counter that? Because we don't know what's going to be. Okay, the team is off now. We're, we're in a luxury, luxury position where we can field a squad of, of, of 26 or 25. And it doesn't matter who's there because the game plan is the game plan and everyone knows what it is. Mm. I, I, I'm not too sure what Eddie's going to do to counter that, but... If there's a more mercurial mind in rugby than Eddie Jones, I, I please find him for me. If there's anyone who can't come up with a plan, I think it's him. And, and I'm curious to see what it's going to be because he's got his own plan and, and, and we don't know what that is either. We, we, we know what the box are bringing. And then we can even talk, Maleba, gents, I don't know how he, he wasn't, uh, my good friend from First 15 said, listen, how that guy is not player of the year. Uh, world player of the year. That guy keeps quiet. Like, I love a prop or a front rower that keeps quiet. But scrumming. We know, Witsi, if you can put Thomas Titoy, yeah. that's, that's out, of, out, of, out of how many props do we have? That's your fifth best. Huh. The nice thing about it, now we, we, we know the depth that we have uh, at, at, different, at different positions. So at lock with um, Mulrat and Marvin Ori. Marvin Ori is going to start now the England game. I think a great opportunity to showcase himself uh, against Hill, Itoje, and playing with Eben. So in the centers as well. Uh, so it's, 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 one, it's one of those things, good team. What I love about now the pictures coming together uh, of what Rassi and, and Jacques and Stixie and all of them had, good team. Let's, let's, who can boast? We, we said about the five props. Who can boast that you, you, you're taking a prop from the SAA, uh, the captain there, and now he's sitting bench against the England team. So it comes back to the first show that we had of, I think it was a plan from beforehand to say, listen, uh, you're going to play this game. Uh, even Ross is getting his, his, his chance. Everyone's been paying for that. Uh, Jaden is back. I think, uh, ooh, Mampimpi now, uh, after, after what he's seen, Guti, what Aranta can do and the other outside backs, what they can do, now he's going to come back with that fire to say, listen, hey. Look, there's matchups all over the field for, for the box against England. But what, what we learned from, from the Italy experiment, I wouldn't call it an experiment, but what happened against Italy is that we can put players, different players in the same position and expect the same output and the same outcome. So, so to, to Ruggs' point, we can put any 25 on the pitch and say, listen, these guys are going to carry us for 80 minutes. England, you bring your best team. We'll bring whichever team we have of fit players and we'll still be competitive. So it's going to be, look, Jesse's got to show up against Lagi. Yeah. So there's, there's matchups all over the park that yeah, are going to be there, yeah. animating on their own to watch. So it's going to be a very, very good game. And, and going, back, going back to uh, last week's game. All right, so... I think it was you, Lunga, that uh, mentioned something like uh, the score is not really a true reflection of the game. Uh, the first half, what do you think of that? Like, uh, the first half, we, we struggled. No, we struggled. give it to like, Italy. No, uh, give it to Italy. They, they showed up. They, they, look, the Italians are a proud nation by, by, by design, but their rugby is at that level where if you go in there and underestimate them, that, that is a mistake that you make. Australia and did the same Australia thing. did that and they lost. Um, we, we didn't, I wouldn't say we underestimated them, but we were misfiring. And that speaks to, to some of the combinations we have. Our center pairing wasn't where it needed to be. We didn't know. And look, 
couple of X Factor players kept us in the game. But but Italy were there in the first half. So you play a fly for fly. We use we use that we use that bench in the second half to get us out there. I don't know if I play the fly for fly. You play a fly for fly, then things start to change. Yeah. No, no, it's your second game for the box. We have figure probably does Yenzek, but you put in a 25 meter pass. Do you, do you know what? To your I, to your weaker side. I love it's not it's probably it's probably easy. But like one thing I love, I love about money. Kicks left, right. Uh passes brilliantly. Uh, left, right, uh, controls. I mean, you see it in the Western province, <laughs> outfit. That guy comes on, he ex that's what you want from your general, man. He, he, he's confident, he's, he, he's taking charge, man. And then, then I was, I was happy he got the minutes that he, he, he got. And, and, and finally, slowly but surely, there's a guy, we can't sleep on that guy, man. He's, I, I think he's always been like that. But now he's finally getting that opportunity to it's the, it's the, to, it's the to confidence showcase. you spoke about, and yes, people are begging for for money to play because of of the performances put in the URC. Mm. But him and the guy like Chris, you need that Italy out outing to go. I belong, I belong. and and I'm relevant to go to Twickenham and eighty thousand people wanting you to mm. lose because that atmosphere isn't something we experience in our box jersey. It's it's going to be different. So, kudos to to the to the the, the brains trust to say. These are the games we're going to deliberately cherry pick players to play in mm. because we're preparing for. And and Ruggs, you've been saying this since we started our, our year end series that there's a plan here in terms of how this is going to play out. SAA, the big squad that they went over, because they understood the dynamics of players are going to go away and we need to still put out a team to play against England. Okay, now I'm going to limp believe I got now. Because now <laughs> England, <laughs> England, England, now. <laughs> England now decided to take all their players. But they kept their own players because all of a sudden now some of the players that play in the English Premier League are not available. Yeah. And Mohu, I think we also felt like, well, okay, no, it's the Paul Amchang. I won't play you at SAA, but then Vessel won't be around. You will start against England. Are you ready? It speaks. It speaks to our depth, man. And then, and I know we. Nobody we, has more we, than us. We, we, gents, we we we're a farm, man. We we and 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 we should we 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 should be looking at all the positives in terms of yes, SAA is not is not winning, but maybe are we winning in in blooding? Can can I and, can, can and, I just can, can I just say something quickly? Sasha. As I said before, you get to Sasha. Sasha. Just just think about this for a second, right? We had conversations about, is Dwayne relevant, right? We've said from a year and a half ago to now, Visa is where he needs to be, right? We are baying for Evan Rose to play. Jean-Luc Dupuy has not played badly for SAA. Look at the options you have, and that's the depth that Ruggs is talking about to go. You can pick any of these guys, and they'll have an impact at a high level in a big game. That's that's what you want. If a guy like Rose is going to play at Twickenham, and you still got Abu Pepsi, you still got yeah, Nache, youth as well. You, you still got Marco Van Staden, you still got Quaha. Gents, it's 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 scary. The irrepressible Quaha. A lot of people, a lot of people give a lot to 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 have the players to, to have the players that we have. I mean, England even use some lock that apparently is, he's ex South African. <laughs> so <laughs> we are the, we are the lock. Factory. Everyone has got. Excellent playing. Mm. So so it's it's a Scottish team in South Africa, but like, uh, uh, but like, the, so I South. just want to send I just want to send a message to Charlize Theron and say there's at least another for the fifth person Montoya speaking Afrikaans. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you want me to explain this funny. in Afrikaans? Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> what a clown! Yeah, that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> sorry, so so back to the show. Jesus, one fifteen. Um, our favorite names are not there. Yeah, we're also, we're also a bit biased. Maleba is not there. Ah, Jets, Maleba. Okay, listen, I'm, I'm not, I've never been a forward in my life, uh, but I see that guy's worth. Sorry to jump, to jump, to jump, because they're not flashy. They, uh, where the boots are not pink, they're not yellow and stuff like that. What do you but want for They prop? should be an award. Exactly, FIFA's got it right. There's a goalkeeper award. Mm. A goalkeeper will never be, they will never win a ball and do it. Yeah. Give, give us a division and also to run, uh, also to run, uh, 
Award or something. Or something. Yeah. Just yes, recognize please. the guys. Yeah. Recognize the guys. Jeez, it's not tough. Evan Elizabeth, gents. Evan Elizabeth. Gents, he's Addison, chasing yeah. balls. Addison. He's Addison. Huh? It's, 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 it's one of those things. And, and, and okay, who's picking the awards? Who's... You see, but that's that's, that's where I was gonna go with this to say yes, we we might be biased, but it's like um, there's the the Ballon d'Or award. It's it's French and European journalists picking a soccer player, right? Who's picking these guys? Because if you look at the balance of the team, a lot of the guys play in the northern hemisphere, right? And I'm going, I'm pretty sure I can think of a player in that position who's better, who's had a better season. I mean. So Sexton, Sexton, there. really? Rich. Sexton is there because France is Ireland are the number one team in the world. You can't tell me Intermac is not a better flower half than Sexton. Richie Mwanga has not had a better season for the All Blacks than Sexton. But yes, Ireland went down to New Zealand and beat New Zealand. But is that all on Sexton or all on the team? Rugby is a team sport and this team, world team, I have my reservations. I, I have a lot of more questions and the answers. Ob- uh, the All Blacks and the boxing beat this team. <laughs> yeah, even with the ball players and all back players yeah, in this team, we can still be the But that's the thing. Like, if we put this team together, right? Like the Barbars, mm. and you made them play somebody, would they win? Give them three weeks to practice. Yeah, would you think, do you think they could beat a top tier nation? No. Is this end of the road for Eddie Jones? Apart from him coaching Australia and now England, everywhere he's been, there's been success. There's been success. Mm. because how you measure success is important. Mm -hmm. At Australia, you might say he didn't win anything because he had a good Australian team. But it's not like you go and coach the All Blacks and you don't win anything, right? The greatest All Black team between 95 and 99 didn't win anything. Would you call that failure? Greatest? 2015, 2011, 2015. Was the 99 team not better? Okay, That's yeah. a debate we can have. Yeah, what yeah. I'm saying is, when you look at Eddie time. Jones, I agree with Ruggs 100% to go. He's been in the game this long. He's a servant to the game. And he's been successful everywhere he's been. He helped the box win in 07. You can't take that away from him. He was there. He might not have worn yeah, the blazer, but he was part yeah. of it. Yeah. He helped yeah, the box win in 07. Every, everywhere he's been, there's been a highlight that's changed the rugby in that nation. So you've got to give it to him that. Because we wouldn't be talking about him now if he wasn't, if he wasn't that good. So you're trying to tell me in two years' time now we'll be talking about uh, the USA being doing... No, I mean, they didn't even I, qualify. They I, didn't I, even I, qualify. I, I, I won't say no. I won't say no because one thing America does is throw money at problems. Huh? One thing America does is throw money Jen, at problems. And we, we're getting into politics. That money is going to Eddie. Sorry. If he makes it work, can we, can we say it's a failure? I think, I think Eddie is a phenomenal rugby mind and we've got to be honest about the fact that he knows what he's doing. England is a tough job. You lose two games, you might get fired. Depending on who you lose to in England and the Six Nations goes the wrong way, you're out very quickly. So I think you could hypothetically say, give Eddie three years in the USA and give him complete autonomy to do what he wants. They could be competitive. Yeah. Their seventh team is. Think about it. Their seventh team is without a mind like Eddie Jones. So if Eddie Jones goes and coaches their 15s, come on. By the looks of things, gents, it's really going to be a great game based on what you guys have said. Uh, your prediction, uh, the looter? Uh, no, nah, I'm going with the box by six. Um, it's it's going to be a big game. Crowd's going to be a factor. And I think it's going to be a big kick. And, and whoever is, is on kicking duty will come through first. Five. Yeah, box by six, even if it's five. No, nah, I mean, uh, I think we're going to dominate them. Man. Uh, our malls, if the All Blacks could do that to them with the forwards, uh, with their breakdown and stuff like that, I think we're going to dominate them, end up on a good note. After last week, I say box by far. Box by far. Far? Far. By far. All right. Box by 10 from my side. We're going to be scoring tries. And um, this, the whole of December, there's, there's rugby chance. So, like, what are your guys' plans? You might be watching uh, rugby on Christmas Day. Yeah. <laughs> Just rate you nah, I think I think it's brilliant, man. I think it's a, it's a, it's a great uh, initiative that the ULC is now in December. So, so yes, see, <laughs> looking forward to it. And Ding Dong Dong, we're going to Europe, my friend. Heineken Cup. <laughs> do, we, like, do we have enough depth to have players playing week in, week out? Like, we're going to see. In our union. We're, we're going to see. It's, 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 it creates opportunities. Yes, we're going to be stretched, but it creates opportunities. But, you know, 
maybe it's too much rugby, but that's a, we'll, we'll see that at another point. Yeah. At, at least I know what we're going to talk about for the next show. So, yeah, I guess we're back at home at First 15. Uh, please don't forget to follow us on our social pages. This is YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's the show, boys. <laughs>